I didn't think it was going to turn into a career like it's been, but when you work for a, a really good family and you've had that kind of stability and you believe in the products that you're making like I do, that's why I stay. I could go anywhere I want, but I choose to be here. I mean, everybody here cares. The company as a whole has done a great job of just instilling that and taking care of everybody that works here too. Um, you've seen guys that have been here for 30 plus years. I mean, you don't see that at a lot of places. I've been here 23 years. 23 years ago? 20 years in November. Back in 99, I believe. 37 years? 41 years. Every machine center is a customer for the previous machine center. So as you guys see stuff go through, you know, if, um, if the finger joiner is getting stuff with defects in it, they're going to go talk to the scanner operator because that's basically, they're, they're the customer. The thing we don't want to happen is suddenly have stuff come through the paint line and realize we messed up somewhere like before with the paint line. You never want to get something where it's like, oh, we should have caught that. Very beginning. Yeah. Well, the, the, the craftsmanship is what we believe is is our bread and butter as far as um, you know we want to be the best at what we do so why go to a job and be second best I, I like to think of myself as somebody who wins all the time and I don't like to lose and if I make a pattern and I walk into a hardware store and I see a pattern that's sharper or nicer than mine I'm seriously upset and I think that we should always be the best at it. And that's just our strategy here. And that's what I teach when I'm teaching the other grinder men and you know, the molders and I work with the planers and I just make sure that everybody's paying attention to what we're doing. So the edge glue is made up of really two sections, the, the molder and the edge glue press itself. The boards would go out of the molder through the edge glue uh, glue applicator. The boards are then formed into what we call a charge, which is basically a layer of wood. We have a four foot wide press, so it's enough pieces to make up a four foot wide charge. All that glue prep is done while the press is being run with the previous charge. So once that press load finishes, the lid opens, the new charge is pushed into the press, the lid closes, it goes through its cycle. The radio frequency generator turns on. It's really passing current from the bottom platen to the top platen through the glue lines. The flow of the current is what uh, excites the glue. It gets it moving like a microwave does. It, it moves the glue particles, which generates heat, and that's why the glue cures quickly. It runs through its cycle, and then the whole thing starts again. The press panel, once it comes out of the press, then goes through a panel saw, which rips it into widths that are predetermined based on our orders or what we need. There's a grader at the end, he's separating the pieces by width and also doing some grading at that point, uh, looking for defects, not only to get them out of the, the main flow, but also to get the problem fixed so he can get information to the, to the operator to fix the problem. We could have an auto stacker in there and it would you know, be maybe a little more efficient, but you don't have those eyes on the boards. We actually, when we built the Virginia mill, Originally, we installed an auto stacker on the end and found that we were just having defects go through that we weren't happy with. So we took it out and put two people on the end of the line again, you know, pulling each board and stacking, hand stacking it. That's just one quality step. <laughs>